what's up guys so today i'll be showing you how to manage the dual sim cards on your samsung galaxy a23 now as you can see this is a dual sim phone with two sim cards inserted and i'll be showing you how you can manage this dual sim cards so what you want to do is go into settings and then go to connections and then go to sim card manager and this is a page where you can manage how you want your SIM cards to behave. Now, as you can see, we currently have SIM 1 and SIM 2. And you can even see the name of the carrier right below the SIM 1 and the SIM 2. SIM 1 is Safaricom and SIM 2 is Airtel. Now, these are just carriers from where I come from. It could be different depending on where you're watching this video from. Anyway, while you're here, you can choose to enable and disable any of the SIM cards when you want. So for instance, when you want to switch off SIM 2, simply turn it off from here. Confirm you want to turn off SIM 2, tap OK, and SIM 2 will be unavailable. No one can call you or text you via this SIM card. And you can turn it on when you want. Just tap on that and confirm, tap OK, and it's going to turn on the SIM card, and the network bars will come back on the status bar. You can do the same for SIM 1. And the next is why you choose your preferred SIM card for calls, messages, and mobile data. Now, the default is to make calls straight out of SIM 1. So anytime you go to the dialer and try to make a phone call and tap on the call button, it's going to call using SIM 1. Now, if you don't want it to do that, simply tap on here and you can either choose SIM 2 or set it as Ask Always, which is my favorite. So if you tap on Ask Always, Anytime you try to make a call, it's going to ask you which SIM card you want to use. So for instance, let's go ahead and try to make a call to... So when you type in the phone number or even search for the number in the phone book, when you tap on this button, it's going to ask you which SIM card you want to use to make the call. So you can either choose SIM 1 or SIM 2. The next one is messages. So again, by default, your messages will come out of your SIM 1 but you can choose to send them out of SIM 2. I'm not sure why there's no option to choose uh, the SIM card while sending the message. Anyway, number three is mobile data. You can choose to either use SIM 1 for mobile data or SIM 2 for mobile data, or you can choose to completely switch off mobile data from here. The other option for mobile data is auto data switching. Now, if you turn this on, basically means it's going to use uh, the default mobile data SIM card. Let's say, for instance, in our case, SIM 1. But in case SIM 1 does not have maybe coverage or you're in a place that does not have network from the SIM 1 uh, service provider, it's going to automatically switch to the other SIM card which might have coverage. So in short, in case SIM 1 cannot connect to the internet, SIM 2 will try to connect to the internet and they're going to keep switching automatically. Now, if you want to leave that on, you can leave it on. If you want to disable it and stick to one SIM card, you can do whatever you want. Now, if you tap on more SIM card settings, you can see the dual SIM is always on. So if you tap on that, you can even add your own phone numbers for the various SIM cards, which is not so important anyway. But that's really how to manage the dual SIM cards in your Galaxy A23. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. And good luck.